How do grass type starters take a shot of vodka? They take a sprig of Tito's. Bike Chain Starters, episode 27, Sprigatito. What's going on? I'm Pokey Walterzak, and today we're making Sprigatito out of bike chains. When we hit 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person in the comment section below. So, what do you think about the intro joke? Do you have a better one? Or do you just like Sprigatito? While you're down there, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and with all that, Let's get on to the build. All right, let's break up this chain and make a sprigatito. So the, to start out, we're gonna be using a, a couple sevens and some five links for the head with a single on top. Uh, the ears are gonna be made up of three links and then the uh, whiskers, facial, fluff are gonna be used uh, some flat links. The body is also gonna be made up of five links with the tail being used as a six link, two three links and the legs being singles. So we have everything laid out here, and over on the right, we're gonna be starting with the tail, uh, tacking all of those individual pieces together, then touching on the facial fluff, the body, the ears, and finally doing all the individual pieces for the head. Again, it's a little bit different because I'm using the sevens and fives, uh, which I try to avoid just because they're a little bit more difficult to deal with. Uh, they end up having this uh, sort of gap whenever I overlap them but I can either fill that in using a additional spacer um, or just kind of pressing them together and welding them. But again, this main head is gonna use two sevens in the middle and then a five on the top and the bottom. Uh, and then an additional single piece is gonna be used on the top after the ears get put on. These two ears, again, are overlapping three links and there's that single piece that's gonna to top it out. Uh, so you can see where Sprigatito gets his nice round head uh, with those flat link crosses for the facial fluff. For the body here, uh, we're going to tack either end uh, just to keep it together here, and then we're going to add the head on uh, and try to hide that weld back there, uh, sort of on the back of the head. We we'll use a magnet to keep it in place so that we can add the different uh, legs onto each side and keep it pretty level so that when it stands up, it's not falling over. The next part is going to be adding the uh, chest fluff, and those are also going to be using some singles, but this design is something I may change down the road. Uh, right now, it's very triangular, which does match the design. Uh, however, the one part that it's kind of missing are these little like flare outs that the uh, that design has. And so down the road, I might try to figure out uh, a way to do those better. Uh, for the tail, we're going to use that six link for the middle. Uh, and then just to give it some extra volume, we're going to use those three links on either side. Uh, you can see me messing around here just to make sure that they're even uh, and looking good. Finally, going to clean it all up using the angle grinder with the flap disc here. Uh, just again, cleaning the big welds, uh, cleaning sharp edges, and just giving it that final little once over. Uh, so that's going to be our Sprigatito raw chains and onto the paint. We're wrapping up the starter series with only two videos left, and that means a whole new set of projects on the way. If you want to stay ahead of the game, if you want to get some insights on the what's coming, go ahead and check it out in Patreon down in the link below. You get early access to content, notifications on what's coming, and you get to vote and put your influence on what projects are to come. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, again, go ahead, check it out in the link below. I wanna give a big thank you to my current patrons, my future patrons, and let's get back to the video. All right, to kick it off with the paint, we're gonna use a light green base coat. Then we're gonna add the details using a dark green. Uh, as you can see here, uh, with those ears, we do leave a little bit of a gap on the front side. Uh, and that is part of the design where he has just like some nice little light green ear fluff in there. Uh, but we use the dark green to cover the rest of the ear. So front, back, sides, uh, gotta make sure you get the tops, all those little uh, crevices in there, uh, just to get rid of the rest of the light green there. Then we're gonna add the dark green onto that front fluff as well. Uh, I've got to make sure to try to round it out, get the edges, get the back, get the bottom, uh, all those sort of like hard to reach spots without getting dark green on the rest of the sculpture. Surprisingly difficult. Uh, and again, just kind of trying to shape up that front fluff too, um, since it wasn't in the physical design, trying to add a little bit of detail with the paint. Now for the last bit of green, it's going to be on the face and Sprigatito does have sort of that dark green mask about it. Uh, which was kind of fun to do here. And it kind of, it has these little different points that come off the top, which was a little bit difficult, but I think we managed it pretty well. And for the final details, that cute little pink nose just to round it up. So 
There we go, our uh, final form for Sprigatito. Now seen it from raw chains all the way up to uh, its final painted form. Love to hear what you have to say and uh, drop it in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed watching Sprigatito come to life. And remember, when we hit 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. So, what'd you like about the video? And what would you like to see more of? This is the last starter from the nine regions that are out so far, but we still have two more starters left to go. If you know what they are, leave them in the comments below. Here's a hint, and make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when the videos come out, you don't miss them. So with all that, thanks for sticking around, and signing off with a toad owl smile.